This evening, there are new and chilling details about the gunman's path of violence through Sandy Hook Elementary School. And when it was all over, the little eyes authorities found staring back at them. They've been hiding, waiting to be rescued. Here's ABC's Dan Harris tonight. After Adam Lenza shot his way through the glass near the front entrance of the school on Friday at around 9.40 a.m., he had choices. Lanza could have gone to the right, to the cafeteria, where, according to the Hartford Current newspaper, students were rehearsing a play straight ahead to the principal's office or left toward the first grade classrooms. He went left, and that's when he encountered the principal and a school psychologist who, as we know, local officials say died trying to stop Lanza. In the first classroom Lanza entered, he shot and killed Lauren Rousseau, a substitute teacher, and 15 first graders, all but one of the students. Then he went to the classroom of teacher Victoria Soto, who the paper says was hiding her students. Soto tried to convince Lanza the kids were actually on the other side of the building, but when a group of students suddenly tried to get away, Lanza shot them, Soto, and a special ed teacher. It was only after police arrived that they found other students. The paper says they were hidden in a closet. Today, the governor of Connecticut told ABC's George Stephanopoulos the rampage only ended at around 9.50, about 10 minutes after it began, when Lanza heard the wailing sirens approaching and killed himself with one bullet to the head. We surmise that um, it was during the second classroom episode that he heard responders coming and, and apparently at that decided to take his own life. Also today, school officials announced that Sandy Hook Elementary students will, in a matter of days, start attending classes at an unused school in a neighboring town. After that, though, they face a wrenching decision. Do they ever reopen Sandy Hook Elementary? David?